I'm Kevin from Carry Deck Cranes. I'm doing a video here to show the beginners or the first time buyers the basic parts of a crane. Um, so let's get started. Okay, when you hear people talk about outriggers, they are talking about the legs that come down, they're hydraulically controlled to lift the tires off the ground. These are outriggers. They're usually on the bigger cranes, they're on all four corners of the crane. On the smaller cranes, like a Broderson IC20, um, depending on what model you have, you'll have one on the back side or two on the front corners and one on the back side. And you never have one over here on an IC20 because there's a counterweight here to offset it where the, where the boom is. This is what you call your winch right here where your cable hooks up. Your cable runs along the top of the boom, comes down. This pulley right here is called a sheave. It goes over the top and it, the hook comes down to it. The cable is wrapped around and it's anchored to the boom. This right here is your hook block with your hook. This particular piece right here is called a jib. The jib is pinned to the front of the crane to give you an extra, let me show you here. It will go on like this to give you extra reach. And they're usually very low capacity so you make sure you read your load chart and stuff before you try to use a jib. Um, when you hear people talk about your swing bearing or your rotational bearing, they're talking about the bearing right underneath the turret. See how it spins? There's a bearing underneath there. Okay. This is what Broderson calls this cylinder right here, this little cylinder, or the cylinder I'm pointing to actually. They call this a topping cylinder. Um, this makes the boom go up and down by hydraulic pressure. Inside the boom here is a cylinder that is opposing that makes the boom go in and out. That is called an extend cylinder. Okay, so inside here there's a cylinder. There's one end of it's going this way and one end of it's going that way and that's called an extend cylinder. Inside the outriggers, there is cylinders right under here, inside here, and they are used, they're pinned usually up in here, and they make the hydraulic, they make the outriggers go up and down. Um, this is your winch. This is a, where your counterweights are to offset the weight you're going to be lifting at the other end. So, right here's your counterweights. Okay. Right here is usually a storage compartment on the IC80s and on the Groves um, where you put your different, your headache ball and your hook. Okay. Back here on these Curiedec cranes, at least on the Groves and the Broderson, there's your engine, your radiator right here. Your cab, obviously, is, we don't have to tell you what that is, is in there. Here's your controls inside the cab, but we can't see it, but obviously that's where the controls would be. So this is just a basic video, like I said. This right here would be your reel for your anti two block system. There would be a, a wire running up in here, so if you jam your anti two block, if you jam an anti two block system is if, as you can see right here, your hook, your little hook hanging right here. And see there's a shoe right here that moves up and down. You see that that shoe? That's actually realistic. What ends up happening is if you're lifting a load and say you're not paying attention and you go and you keep lifting and your block hits this shoe right here, it pushes on a lever for a switch which is hooked to right here and the wiring is ran down in the hydraulics to the hydraulics and it shuts your hydraulics off. And the reason that does that is if you weren't paying attention, you had a load lifted right here, and all of a sudden, the guy's talking to you, and you have your hand on the lever, and you pull, and you keep going, and this block hits this shoe, and it didn't shut the hydraulics off, you can actually break the cable, possibly, and drop the whole load to the ground, hurting somebody. So the manufacturers decided to come up with what they call an A2B, an anti-two-block -two system, is when this hits the little shoe, it shuts off the hydraulics, and either you have to reverse it or you have to override it with a key. Or if you have an LMI, a load moment indication indication system, the buzzers will go off and the lights will go off and it'll lock you out also. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video.